so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna push Morrigan over the edge so that she's a hundred percent. What have you there? A mirror? It is just the same as the mirror which Flemeth smashed on the ground so long ago. It is incredible that you found one so like it. I am uncertain what to say. You must wish something in return, certainly. Yes. <laughs> um. Don't be ridiculous. If t it's a gift, Morrigan. Now I'm gonna be. S hmm. Am I cocky with her? No, I don't think I am. Not yet. Um, I'll be smoochy. It's simply a present for a beautiful woman. I have never received a gift. Not one that did not also come with a price attached. Perhaps there is a price to pay yet, hmm? <laughs> if so, it is deserved. Thank you. Truly. Aww. Right. Um, she is at 100 love. Let's see if she wants to talk to me now. I wish to ask a question of you. Hmm. I knew this would happen. <laughs> Go ahead. I wish to know your opinion of love. Um, my opinion? You and I have been intimate, for one. We have been close for some time now. You are impressive in many ways, and you even protected me from Flemeth without hope of reward. I feel... Anxious when I look upon you, I dislike this sense of dependency. It is a weakness I abhor. If this is love, I wish to ascertain that you do not feel the same. <laughs> and if I do love you, if that's how you feel, then we should stop. No. And if I do love you. Then we are both fools, and we need to do something immediately. I have allowed myself to become too close. This is a weakness for us both. Love is not a weakness. You are not listening to me. Do not be such a fool. This is for your own good. I would not... I am not like other women. I am not worth your distraction. And you are not worth mine. Hmm. You are worth my distraction. I... You are impossible. Have it your way. But I will tell you truly now. You will regret it in the end. <gasps> Omnius. Will you kiss me? Your desire... Personal? We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Care to join me in my kitten? I... Mm. I think not. Oh. Oh? Oh? Is something wrong? Ha! Huh, because something must be amiss with me in order to refuse your charms. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me if I do not leap at your command like a trained warhound. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I don't like this. If she says no, it's no. Um, so, <laughs> stop acting like such a hostile bitch. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you angry. It... I simply... I do not wish to discuss it. Leave me be. Okay. Sorry. Kiss? Can I have a kiss? Your desire? There's not. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Kiss. Ah, such a romantic, I, I see. 
Well, I, I wonder why she won't sleep with me. Hmm. Meta gaming. Ah, oh, well. Uh, right. So, next we have. I think. Let's look at the stuff we have here. Um. Blue satin shoes for Liliana. She's already at 100. Um, but we can give them to her in Denerim, I think. And Ogren. Uh, maybe we should talk to him now. That could have gone better. There's plenty more where she came from. After this thing with the archdemon's over, I'll have to pry the ladies off with pliers, I suppose. Oh. <laughs> Might as well rest up while I can. You ready to go? Let's go. Aye. All right, then. Mm. Come to talk to old Ogren, have you? Don't know why. What's wrong, Ogren? Nothing. I'm fine. Just, uh, I got a hornet in my eye is all. Did you want to talk about something? Hmm. I'd like to know more about you. What about? Are you fine with what happened with Branka? Oh, sure. I'm fine with it. I mean, she was a real firebrand between the sheets. But a bit soft in the skull, you know what I mean? Explains why she left, anyway. So, um, I imagine she wasn't that crazy when she left. Oh, you don't know her. She was cracked like a glass floor. Before she was a paragon, I mean. After that, she really fell apart. I mean, she leaves me and flits about with that watered tart hespit. What's she got that I don't? Just the thought of the two of them together, kissing and licking and... Intertwined on the floor of the deep roads. Dirty bike. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna go back to the tent for a moment. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> so dirty. <laughs> All right. Um. Pull up a drink, Warden. Join me in my sodding hole. <clears throat> Something bothering you? Nah, just tired is all. Did you want to talk about something? I'd like to know more about you. What about? How do you like the surface? It's sodding great. At first I was a little queasy with all that air, but there's just so much of it. No one has any idea who you are or what you're doing. Any ale? Oh, who'd have thought ale made with grain? <laughs> Aye, the surface is great. It's like a big, bright world of filth without a ceiling. My kind of place. Hey, let's go find something to kill, huh? All this talk makes my hands twitchy. <laughs> okay, one last Just one. leave me alone, Warden. Seriously. Okay, I've been bugging you. Why, are you upset about something? Upset? <laughs> I don't get upset. I get drunk. Did you want to talk about something? Yeah, I, I'd like to know more about you. What about? Well, let's finish off the bran Branca. How are you handling Branca? Well, what do you think? I mean, she was my wife. I spent two years trying to save her while she was off boffing that tramp and feeding my cousins to the Darkspawn. And now she's dead. And there's no way to ever make things better. Well, if there's any way I can help, let me know. You did what you thought was right, Warden. I just wish there was another way it has ended. You want to get moving now? My throat's sore from all this relating. <laughs> okay. Um, and he's 57. I'm gonna give him any 
drinks here. We have That looks fine indeed. <laughs> yes. Oh, and Shale. We haven't talked to her yet, have we? I'll give her this. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And, um... How nice. <laughs> okay. You can have a gem bracelet. How nice. Okay. A uh, silver demon head ring. How nice. A uh, gold amulet. How nice. Okay. And one more. Golden rope necklace. How nice. Down here, and let's go talk to Shale. It speaks. Mm -hmm. I have some questions. It doesn't have better things to do. No. How did Wilhelm come to acquire you? Oh, by the way, you know what I never s told you or or talked about was that when we were um, at the Anvil of the Void. She confessed to killing her master, and that's apparently why she was frozen. Uh, but did she do it purposely, or was it an accident that... I don't know, but anyway, interesting. How did Wilhelm come to acquire you? That part I know, as Wilhelm often bragged about it to whomever was willing to listen to him. He claimed to have found me in the deep roads. I was in the ruins of a taig, he said, deactivated, with my control rod not far away. Uh, what was Wilhelm doing in the deep roads? It was a hobby of his, scavenging. One of the reasons he traveled so much is that he was looking for entrances into the deep roads, old places the dwarves had long forgotten. And then he would sneak down and search for magical treasure before anyone was the wiser. Hmm. Wouldn't that have been dangerous? Indeed. He had spells that allowed him to remain hidden and move quickly, but he had no defense against the Blight and worried constantly that he would get sick. If any Darkspawn showed themselves, he fled. More often, he would have to fight other scavengers, dwarfs who had become tainted. In the end, it killed him. I mean... He found me there, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't know why you were there? I think I remember a battle. It was long before, and then there was darkness. Bah, in short, no. I do not remember why I was there. It makes no difference. Hmm. Do you know where in the deep breaths this was? No. That secretive bastard refused to tell me. I would ask and ask, but no. He used to say that one day, if I were compliant and didn't talk back at his wife, he would take me there and I could look around myself. Rotten, lying bastard. If I had his head in my hands now, I would squeeze it like a giant lemon. Squish. <laughs> 
So if he hadn't found you? I wouldn't have had to put up with the twit. And I would be none the wiser. I don't think I was aware while I was there. Not like in the village. Or perhaps I was. Perhaps that was the dark place. And I simply couldn't see anything. How long could even I sit in the darkness and stare out at nothing, never sleeping? <gasps> oh, I do not wish to think of that. Let's move on. On, then. Okay. And... Uh, Shale is now 78. Good. Good, goody. Oh no, do you know what I did? I hit reload, didn't I? My latest save. <laughs> oh no. <gasps> okay, I think that's... It's time for a cut now. And then we'll go to Redcliffe Castle. Alright, I fixed it. I paused. And I replayed. Look, saving. Now, Red Cliff. Now is better than later. So for me, this is where the end game uh, starts. Well, the last kind of chapter. Yes. <coughs> um, so we need to get to Red Cliff, and then we have a lot of quests in Orzammar. So it's going to take a couple of more episodes. And um, yeah, let's think about this. Indeed. Indeed. Let's do this. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, come on. He really wants me to buy his stuff. I don't want to buy your stuff. Go away. Um, yeah, so, so I think he needs more cunning, maybe not, no you don't, okay, um, so magic, and oof, I'd really like to give her blood mage, but I'm not going to. Oh, yes. Thank you. And, um, uh, Death Cloud. Uh, deals continuous spirit damage to all those who end his friendly fire possible. So, where did you put that? There. I guess that's okay. Maybe. I don't know. Um, is it because of this? Oh no, I have two more, of course. Um,. Really, really, really good. Um, so, and so, if we have, if we have room, I don't know. <coughs> okay. I think they picked up all the dead corpses that were lying around in the living room before. Shall we take a look? No dead corpses? 
Uh, too bad, you know. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. I think we're done here. And so thank you for watching. And this is where we're now going to start start our plans. Or maybe I should do it in this video. Yeah, let's do it. I understand you've acquired all the allies you could. That's good. We can call the landsmeet if you are ready. I would prefer not giving Loghain time to consider, but it is up to you. <coughs> I do not wish to go to Denerim unless you are with me. Uh, let's go to Denerim now. Excellent. I shall make the arrangements. Let us be off to Denerim, and may the Maker watch over us. Ooh. Denerim is the heart and soul of Ferelden. It was the city of King Kalanhad, the birthplace of Andraste. As stubborn as a Mabari, and as good to have on your side. If we defeat Loghain here, the rest of the nation will follow us. By calling the Landsmeet, I've struck the first blow. The advantage, for the moment, is ours. He will have little choice but to show himself, to oppose us directly. He will strike back at us. The only question that remains is how soon. Oh, hello. Loghain, this is an honor that the Regent would find time to greet me personally. How could I not welcome a man so important as to call every lord in Ferelden away from his estates while a blight claws at our land? The blight is why I'm here. With Caelan dead, Ferelden must have a king to lead it against the Darkspawn. Ferelden has a strong leader. It's queen. And I lead her armies. Um... If Anora rules, let her speak for herself. And who is this, Eamon? Some new stray you picked up on the road? And here I thought it was only royal bastards you played the nursemaid to. Well, you're admitting the royal part. That's a start. <laughs> I'm not gonna accuse him. I'm not gonna say I'm a witness of your crimes at Ostagar. Because he knows that. <laughs> Uh, and I'm not going to promote Alistar as king. I don't know, have I told you this? I'm not. Um, so, I know, shocker. Um, so it's, I'm Dalen of the Grey Wardens. You have my sympathies on what happened to your order. It is unfortunate that they chose to turn against Ferelden. So, you bastard, look at him staring at me. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> I don't accept the sympathies of deserters and regicides. You should curb your tongue. This is my city and no safe place to speak treason for anyone. There is talk that your illness left you feeble, Eamon. Some worry that you may no longer be fit to advise Ferelden. Illness? Why not call your poison by its true name? Not everyone at the Landsmeet will cast aside their loyalties as easily as you and these sycophants. How long you've been gone from court, Eamon? Don't you recognize Rendon Howe, Arl of Amaranthine, and Terran of High Ever? And current Arl of Denerim, since Urien's unfortunate fate at Ostagar. The Regent has been generous to those who prove loyal. God, what a bastard. Oh god, should I be rude? <laughs> Boot licking appears to be profitable these days. That's a lot of titles for one man to have. Don't interrupt, Churl. Your betters are talking. Enough, Carthrian. This is not the time or place. I had hoped to talk you down from this rash course, Eamon. Our people are frightened. 
Our king is dead. Our land is under siege. We must be united now if we are to endure this crisis. Your own sister, Queen Rowan, fought tirelessly to see Ferelden restored. Would you see her work destroyed? You divide our nation and weaken our efforts against the Blight, with your selfish ambitions to the throne. Ah, oh, God. If you truly want to save this land, stand with us. I should put my faith in untried foreign hands. Do you think I'm blind? Kaelin depended on the Grey Warden's prowess against the Darkspawn, and look how well that ended. Let us speak of reality rather than tall tales. Stories will not save us. I cannot forgive what you've done, Loghain. Perhaps the Maker can, but not I. Our people deserve a King of the Theron bloodline. Alistair will be the one to lead us to victory in this blight. Oh, is that all I have to do? No pressure. The Emperor of Orlais also thought I could not bring him down. Expect no more mercy than I showed him. There is nothing I would not do for my homeland. <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> well, that was bracing. I didn't expect Loghain to show himself quite so soon. Hmm. Why is he doing this? Maker knows. Perhaps he's gone mad. I would have imagined pigs would fly before Loghain McTeer would turn against our king. What do we do? What do we do now? Calling the landsmeet is only the start. Now we must ensure that every noble there sees Loghain's duplicity. We have no small task ahead of us. We need eyes and ears in the city. Loghain has been here for months. The roots of all his schemes must begin here. The sooner we find them, the better we can turn them to our advantage. Go have a look around, and see what you can turn up. Better yet, find the nobles who have arrived for the landsmate. Test the waters. See how many will support us. When you're ready to talk strategy, come upstairs to my sitting room. We can lay out our plans for the landsmate then. I'm really nervous, you know, because I really don't want Alistair to to become king. And I think Arla Eamon is going to be really angry with me about that. Anyway, here we are, and we have a couple of episodes before shit hits the fans, so I'm going to cut it short here. Thanks for watching. Bye.